I'm very pleased uh, with the vote. Uh, this was, uh, as is obvious, a, a very, very difficult issue for uh, members. Uh, it's a very uh, difficult issue uh, in, for Californians as well. But the, uh, the vote was, a, uh, was really a matter, in my view, of common sense uh, and public safety. Uh, I closed in the way I closed very deliberately. Um, there are many reasons to vote for this package. There's the budget, there's the federal court jurisdiction, there's the fact that um, we ought to be ashamed of the fact that we spend more on corrections than we do on higher education, but really it's about public safety. And <clears throat> what we know now is that the prison system is a revolving door. And it's a revolving door in large part because people who leave do not get the kinds of intensive supervision and or help that they need to succeed. And so when I look at a package that allows uh, a parole officer to be able to supervise 45 uh, parolees uh, instead of 70, and the difference that makes in terms of the number of contacts between uh, parole agent and parolee, I think that is a significant uh, improvement uh, when it comes to, to public safety. And, uh, and look, we talk a lot about reform uh, in this state, and uh, we know that uh, and we know how difficult it is to translate uh, the theory. Uh, or the rhetoric around reform into, into legislative action. Today, we, we did just that. We translated, um, we, we translated the talk about, the decades long talk about the need for changing the way we uh, distinguish, frankly, between those who are violent and belong in prison and those who are not, who we can treat more effectively. And, and in a more cost-effective way, uh, we translated that uh, long-held argument and that long-held theory into actual uh, legislative action. And um, you know, I'm I'm proud of the uh, proud of the chamber today. The assembly might have trouble passing the same bill. I mean, well, how much trouble would that put our budget in? Well, the package is worth uh, about six hundred million dollars in total. And so, uh, obviously, it's a significant, significant piece of the, uh, of the budget. And uh, we can ill afford to lose $600 million when we have already cut so deeply uh, in so many other areas. So we will see. Uh, you know, I know um, the speaker is uh, working it very hard. You know, the assembly is just, it's a different institution. Um, having served there for six years, it's a different institution. Senator, the uh, colleagues uh, across the aisle said that this was really a smokescreen. You took a budget crisis and you used it to advance a liberal agenda on crime, and now you're going to turn back the clock and make the community less safe. Well, let the political uh, campaign and advertising begin, I suppose, because that's, uh, that's political rhetoric, uh, and, you know, I wouldn't expect anything different, frankly. The truth of the matter is that we have a system now that, uh, that does not do justice to uh, public safety. We have too many people who cycle in and out of state prison, a 70% recidivism rate, and we are not able to manage that population adequately. This provides a pathway and a hope to in fact uh, be much more successful when it comes to helping those people who leave prison. And 97% of the people in prison now will eventually leave. Help them succeed and help make the public more safe. What do you think the about Senate? the Democrats who voted no? Four of them. You know, uh, we were just talking inside. Um, no one ever remembers the final score of a, of a game. They just remember who won. And the fact is, the bill passed and it passed strongly. Uh, you know, I always respect members' right to vote uh, how they wish. We all represent a million people or so, and uh, members have to vote their consciences and, and what they believe. Bottom line, I have one job, many jobs, but my most important job 
is to make sure that uh, important legislation passes and we succeeded. Senator, if your uh, members approve this difficult vote, the Assembly won't go along. They have a lot of people in your office. Doesn't that kind of leave you guys kind of out on a limb doing something politically difficult? We talked about this uh, very directly in uh, our caucus yesterday because uh, certainly aware that in going first, uh, there was the possibility that we would pass this measure uh, and that, you know, it might not succeed in the assembly. Overwhelmingly, my colleagues uh, urged us to go forward and to, in fact, take the lead because this is uh, such an important area. And look, at, it's not just about this year's budget. It is about how, over time, we are going to change that awful statistic that has California spending more money on corrections than higher education. It is about making sure that uh, we protect public safety first and that we have the resources to be able to invest in preventing crime in the first place. And, uh, <clears throat> and so um, we talked about this very issue. And my colleagues uh, wanted to lead, and um, you know I'm proud that uh, they helped me make that decision, and that we went forward today, and that we passed the bill. Okay, thank you all.